okay welcome back it's now time to see on how we can map our uh, properties from the product to the product dto or the product return dto by using the auto mapper and as you are taking a look into the control you can see that this was not the good approach to use that's why we're going to install the package to help us with the mapping and i'm going to press ctrl shift p and I'm going to open the NuGet gallery as we are going to install a new package. And the package that we're going to install will be the one that is going to help us with the mapping. And inside this search box, I'm going to, to go ahead and type automapper. And automapper will be the one that will help us with the mappings. And you can see that in the list of the results, there will be a lot of these. But we're going to install this with the dependency injection. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to install this into the API project. And I'm going to go ahead and press on install. Alright, and once now the auto mapper is successfully installed, I'm going to go ahead and place enter so as to be able to have this one. And I'm going to close this new get gallery for this time. And of course, I'm going to close all of this because we need a clean workspace for sure. And I'm going to also uh, close this terminal. Alright, and inside my API project, this is where I'm going to add now the auto mapper. And the way I'm going to add it here, I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to call this helpers. And this helper folder will contain all the helper classes that we'll be having in our project. And the auto mapper and the mapping profiles will be the one helper that we need. I'm going to go ahead and create and create one folder and I'm going to call this as helpers. And inside these helpers, I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call these mapping profiles. I'm going to right click new C sharp class and I'm going to call this as mapping profiles like this one and press enter. And after creating this class, we need to derive from the profile which will be from the auto mapper. And I'm going to do that like this one and I'm going to say profile and it will prompt us to, uh, to bring the auto mapper in here. So go ahead and press enter and you can see that now it imported the auto mapper automatically. All right, after we're done with this one, we're going to go ahead and create the constructor. And the constructor will take no parameter and I'm going to use the quick fix again and I'm going to create now the a constructor with empty values or the empty parameters. And inside this constructor, this is where I'm going to start to add now the mapping profiles. And we need to map from the product to the product return DTO. And that is now the mapping profile that we're going to add in here. So I'm going to go ahead and say create map like this one. And I'm going to say that I'm going to go from the product and it will be from the core entities. And I'm going to map from the product to the product return to the product to return DTO and press enter and after doing this i'm going to add the bracket rock this one and now we are done for now and after doing this we need also to register now with this auto mapper to the dependency injection and the way we do that we're going to go into the program and this is here now the program.cas and below these services for the repository we need to add the services for the auto mapper too so i'm going to say builder dot and i'm going to say uh, services and I'm going to say add auto mapper. And the way we are going to do this, I'm going to say app domain. And I'm going to say current domain. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to say gate assemblies. Here it is current domain. And I'm going to go ahead and say gate assemblies. Rack this one. And don't forget to close this bracket and then we are done. After registering now this auto mapper into the dependency injection, we need to use it into our product control so as to be able to perform all the mappings. And the way we do that, we're going to go into our controllers and open the product controller. And inside this, we need also to inject the auto mapper in here. And we need to create also the field from the parameter. And I'm going to use the iMapper, uh, which will be the interface for the auto mapper, like this one. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter. It will have to import it itself. And I'm going to call this as mapper. And again, I'm going to go ahead and initialize the field from parameter. I'm going to use the quick fix. And 
I'm going to initialize the field from parameter and it will come like this one. And we, we've been struggling to assign this underscore for the past videos, but there is a way we can do this. And whenever we're going to initialize the property for the private property, it will automatically put this underscore, but we need to configure that into the C sharp extension. So I'm going to go back here and press Ctrl Z and I'm going to go into my extensions and I'm going to go to the C sharp extensions and I'm going to go to the settings. And I'm going to go to extension setting and I'm going, there is now this for the private member prefix and I'm going to add the underscore like this one and boom, I'm going to close this and you have, you have to test if it is working or if we need to refresh our VS code. So I'm going to go here and try to do that again. So whenever I press control dot and try to, uh, to initialize the field from parameter, can see that it's not working, but we can refresh the VS code. So I'm going to save all the changes and I'm going to go here, the, here and say uh, the reload and I'm going to say load. If you reply load the window like this one. And once now the window is loaded, I'm going to go ahead and press control that again to bring the quick fix. And you can see that is now bringing this for the property and I'm not sure it, it's not the one that we need, but we can go ahead and try to use the quick fix. And for this case, we can see that it's still bringing this. I don't know why, why it's so mean. I'm going to go ahead and press control Z and then do this again. There is a, some point when this doesn't come, but whenever you, you trick it like this one, it is going to come. So whenever you click here, you can see that now still it is bringing this one. I don't know what happened, but so let's see whenever we say initialize the feed from parameter. You can see that on here it was trying to do it, but here it doesn't. So I'm going to remove the this and here we go. All right. So I'm going to go down to where I'm getting, for example, the product and the individual product. And I'm going to start by getting now the individual product. And the way we're going to do that, we are going to see on where we're getting here now, we're on the return. Instead of returning this as a big object, we're going to use the automapper so as to be able to bring the data from the repository. And we're going to use the automapper to map the product with the product return DTO. So I'm going to say mapper dot map. And in this case, we're going to go from the product and I'm going to say product return DTO. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and pass the product here. And after we are done with this, we can go ahead and, and after we are done with this, we can go ahead and do the same for now returning the rest of the product. And instead of now doing this, I'm going to remove everything from here and I'm going to use automapper to do this. And here we are now returning the rest, but I bet in the repository we were trying to return the I read only rest. So let me go back and check because we need to keep our persistence of the return type. So let me go into the repository. So here it is into the data and I'm going to go to the product repository. You can see that for now, the rest of the product, let me go to where there is the interfaces. Yeah. Let me collapse everything. I don't know. And it is now, and here it is now I product repository. You can see that we were trying to get this as a read only list. And that's why in the controller too, we need to make this as I read only list. So I'm going to change this list to I read only list. So I'm going to say I, and I'm going to choose this as I read only list. And whenever we are using I read only list, we need to wrap this into the okay. So inside here, I'm going to call the mapper and I'm going to also map and we're going to map from uh, the I read only list of uh, the product. So I'm going to say I read only list and this will take a type of the product uh, to take type of product. And we need to also map this to I read only list. I read only list of um, product return DTO like this one. And for this case, we need to close this. 
and after closing this like this we need to pass in now the uh products in here all right so this is it after we have done doing all of this we, we can go ahead and restart our server to see if now the changes were applied so i'm going to go into the terminal and of course i'm going to stop the server and i'm going to restart the server again so i'm going to go up one level like this and press enter and let's go back into our postman and try to send the request for one product for one individual product and you can see that we're getting this error and you can see that it was uh, about this no parameter no parameter as constructor so the reason for this let's go back and see if now into our mapping profiles where if we didn't make any mistake and you can see that this is now a protected let me make it this as a public and see if it is going to resolve our error so let me go back and try to resend the uh, liquid again street is persisting and the way i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to stop the server and try to build again and see and let's go back and try to send the same request so whenever we click on send now we are getting the success but you can see that now there is now this strange desert and we're going to see now that in a bit why it is coming like this one as automapa we're trying to match our dto with the product type Maybe it has uh, seen some strange behavior that uh, caused it to behave like this one. And when you go back into the entities and you take a look, for example, into the product entity here, you can see that there were somewhere when, when we would be we were having this product type as one object or the, the reference from the other table or the other entity. And whenever we are going to add the DTO or when you're going to return the product, it is trying to make this as a string. And we need to address this into our mapping profiles so as to be able to return the correct type. Instead of trying to return everything as it is, it is going to try to return this as a string. And the way we do that, we are going to go back to our mapping profiles and we're going to resolve the issue here. And inside here, we're going to add what we call for member. So I'm going to add the dot and I'm going to go down here so as to be able to add other properties and i'm going to say for member and i'm going to say that for member for uh, i'm going to say that the destination that we need to add here it will be now for the product blend and later on we'll be adding the one for the product type and after this we need also to add the output and the output we have also the source and the way we're going to do this i'm going to say that uh, for example x as the destination is going to go to x dot and i'm going to say product bland product bland and after getting this product bland i'm going to add the second parameter and the second parameter that we're going to add will be now the output i'm going to call this for example as i and this i will go to for example um i will go to i dot and i'm going to add the map from uh, map from and the source that i'm going to map from will be now i'm going to call this as ace and i'm going to say that the source will be uh, s dot product blend and i'm going to go ahead and access the name from there all right and what we say that is we are going now to map from this source and it's going to output this into this x and after that you're going to add the dot and i'm going to copy this because it is now the same behavior that we need we need to change only the parameters in here i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to say here it will be for the product type and the source will be for the product type and instead of adding this dot we need to finish off this statement by adding now this semicolon like this one okay and after doing this uh, we're going to restart the server so as to so as to be able to populate all of these changes that we've done here and try to send the request again to see if now this is resolved so i'm going to get and place enter and let's try to send our request again so whenever we get the ind individual products 
you can see that now we are getting these as expected and whenever we try to get the list of the products or the list of all products whenever we go ahead and click on send you can see that we're getting the success too this is now how we can add the automa passwords to be able to map our uh, dto's with products and vice versa i hope you like this video let me know if you met with any problem make sure to leave the comment if you uh, enjoyed this one and go ahead and place the like button it help us with the algorithm stuff and from now on till next time stay cool and peace see you in the next video